guys. Um, today, we're deciding to go out and go play around today. Um, it's kind of a nice day. So, me and Aaliyah are going to go play on the boat for a little bit. Nobody else really wants to go play on the boat, but she does. So, she hasn't caught a bass yet. So, we're going we're gonna to try to see if we can get her to catch her first little bass. Or It'd a be fish. Cool. Yep, or a fish. Any kind of fish, really. But, yeah, we're out backing around. They got like these water birds and stuff that are like, you really can't see here on my phone, but they're like out that way. Yeah, you see another bird over there? Yeah, I see it's on the it's on the stick right there. Right about there. Oh, yep. But it's a nice day out. It's a little cloudy. It's like a 20% chance of rain, but I'm okay with that. I got a little bimini top of my boat that if it starts to rain, I'll just pop it up and she won't have to worry about getting wet. But I think it'll be a good day. We'll get out here on the water go play around and we're gonna go have fun aren't we yep we're gonna have a blast yep all right i'm about to walk up here and go take off the cover off my boat and we're gonna go head over to the lake Yep, we're all good. So we got everything, we got the boat cover and everything all off. Um, I just gotta finish hooking up the rest to the front of my, or to the back of my truck. She's over here hanging off the back of the golf cart. Um, uh, hop down girl. And then, yeah, I think we're just gonna load up the boat with some snacks and stuff. We went ahead and grabbed some, something to eat ourselves this morning for some breakfast. And then it's supposed to warm up, like right now, I think it's like right there at around 70, 68. 69 but it's supposed to rapidly warm up today so i think the highs are supposed to get to like 78 which should be a nice warm day and then it cools off pretty quick for the rest of the evening so this morning started off at like 59 so it was like really nice this morning but we're gonna get in here and then kind of get all this rest of this stuff buckled up and then we'll hop in the truck and get this thing moved on out so and i'm gonna try cutting your bath yep <sighs> all right so Back here in the truck, we just got all loaded up. Turn this AC down, I'm just trying to cool it off in here a little bit. Leah's all in the back, she's all ready to go. All right, I think we're all good on everything else. Got truck all loaded up, got our snacks, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, which is nice because when we get out here, I know after a little while, um, the kids will sometimes get a little moody. So having the bimini top on the truck, knowing that it's gonna warm a little bit, that gives them, yeah, you know, on the boat. Um, we'll give the kids a little more shade sometimes when we're out on the water. So for her, the bimini top is great. I don't really necessarily, when I'm on the water by myself, I never really use it. I just hat, long sleeve, I put my hoodie on if I need it, and that's about it. Um, 
for the most part, I never really use it. But for the kids, it's great because I can pop it up and I still get the whole front of the deck of the boat back there um, that I have plenty of room to fish off of. And that Bimini top sits in the back and gives them shade uh, for like, it's it, it, it just makes it so much better for them and the kids out on the water. So today I think the wind top like the speeds we're supposed to get up to about eight miles an hour i think they're closer to probably about six maybe five right now and then yeah we're gonna get out here come in see if we can play around for a little bit and try to get her on a bass been trying for a while now haven't we elia yeah. we tried in that one little river remember with sophie and them yeah, sophie yeah. And so yeah well, we're trying so my brother has a little girl also and he's been trying to let her catch her own bass also so we've both been kind of like it's almost like a competition to see yeah, whose daughter yeah i know um to see whose daughter can catch a bass first so we've been kind of both going back and forth at it without us helping at all we are we are not allowed to put our hands on the pole or anything they got to do it all on their own even um, um unhook it well when you get it in i'll help you with that part but um good because i don't want to Hook myself like yeah. every time you did. <laughs> I know. But that's it. We're going to get out here on the water. Today should be a much better day to get out here and play around without the wind beating us up too much and stuff. So uh, it should be pretty good. So y'all stick around for that. Huh. All right. So we made it down here to the boat ramp. Got the boat already in the water. There's a lot of uh, boats out today and I don't blame them. It's kind of a nice day. So, I'm coming girl. But yeah, we're gonna get down here, get in the boat. Those little rod docks that I put on the boat itself are that I kind of like built for like 20 bucks myself. They are definitely worth it sometimes. Uh, and just kind of keeps your boat off like you can see how it kind of like pulls away when she gets on and then it like pulls back but it won't go too close to the dock it, it literally helps a lot so Hi, this dock's a floating dock so it moves all around anyways but we're gonna get up here and we're gonna get things rolling you gotta get your life vest on girl I know. Can you yep give me one second Are you ready to go? Yep. Fast. Really fast? Really, really fast. No, not that fast, but we'll go. We're going to run on down here to the dam and go check it out and get a little bit of breeze. It actually kind of warmed up quite a bit since uh, um, we started this morning. So I got this little GoPro set up right here. So I give you all that little view and it's kind of cool because it'll be more shoulder mounted. So if I do catch a fish, it's not, my hands aren't going to be all up in the way for you guys. So there you go. All right, let's go. Look how fast they're going. We need to go that fast. Oh, Daddy can't quite go that fast. That boat's faster than Daddy's. What? That boat's faster than Daddy's. <laughs> hey, hold your hat. So I don't know how well y'all can see, but there's this grass line here that I just come up to. And the bass will sit up in that grass pretty well around this lake. What's kind of nice is since the last time I fished out here, it looks like the water levels come back up. So they must have closed up the dam some to let the water level rise, which makes a difference on killing off the grass when they do that for a while. And they lower the water level. So, 
So my lure sits like right above the grass level. So if I get pulled in the grass, I just kind of yank it through or rip it. So it's kind of like, I don't know how much of the wind you're catching, but this bimini top is pretty nice because you can get it up to like close to 30 miles an hour. I usually don't go over 30, like 35 is like tops. And I just kind of like cruise with the bimini top and that's plenty of speed. It holds up really, really well. And you ain't got to worry about it popping off. And 30 is a pretty good speed to kind of like cruise with the bimini top on. I just wanted to show you guys that we get plenty of shade right here while we're riding around so it's actually really nice so and then it, it cools her off some too so it does help out a lot so well just for a little bit they can um, stay in all right so Aaliyah has my turtle found a baby turtle and now i think she lost pretty much most of her interest in <laughs> Any more fishing right now? Yep, I'm not gonna fish anymore. <laughs> Why? You don't want to try to catch a bass? Mm -mm. I'm gonna watch my new baby. You want to pick him up real quick and show the camera? Yeah. We've had a baby turtle before, but we had him at an old house and we kept him in a pond, so we kind of let them like back over there. Go um, we don't want to take him away from the pond that so when we cute. left the house. So we left him there, and the new owners are pretty much taking care of the turtle. There. Right whenever I put them underwater, so, he, he just, um, um, opened but shell. she got, come here, show the camera closer. So she wants to keep this little painted turtle right here. And we might. Uh, I don't know. I can't tell if it's a red ear turtle or what. I can't really see her. It just looks like a regular little painted slider. Is it a snapping turtle? No, it's not a snapping turtle. It's just a little painted slider turtle. I thought that would be a red ear, but this one isn't a red ear. So these turtles like this, they get decently big. So she can keep it for a while. And then at some point, it's going to have to get either a bigger tank or something. If we got to do all that for it, Aaliyah. Whenever it gets bigger, I You might... can put it in Papa's Pond. Whenever it gets bigger, I might actually put it in Papa's Pond. Yep, yeah, it'll probably like Papa's Pond. But that's her little thing that she's playing with right now. And it is... It is warmed up. The water temperature is actually really cool. It feels like, you know, it feels like really good ice water, but it's actually kind of hot out right now. It's a good 78 right now. So I'm gonna keep playing around. She's just sitting here playing on the boat, cool and trying to cool off a little bit underneath this bimini top, which works great for her. So she ain't gotta sit there. She's just snacking on candy and snacking on all other stuff. And I think it's just too hot for her to stand. She don't want to stand out here in the sun and fish right now. That's the hardest part about this little competition with my brother trying to until I, until I'm like, you got the baby turtle yeah that's the hardest part about this competition is uh when it gets hot they don't like the fish very much <laughs> so, I mean, i'm gonna see if i can get something at some point there's a lot of boats out here but i haven't really been seeing anybody snag anything today which is kind of weird i did see one um bed but I didn't see no fish on it, so I don't know. There's a lot of boats out here. So we'll have to keep playing around and see if we can get something. Alright, so we get out here on the water. There's like a you probably can't really see from here. He was right over here earlier. It's a smaller gator. Probably like a four foot little gator out there. And he's swimming across the water for a minute. She's been trying to chill out. Hey, pick that up. Come on. Um, and then been playing with the little turtle she's been messing with. And she hasn't really been fishing much. So I'm not going to keep her out here all day. So we might make our way back at some point. And we're going to fish for a while longer. You're staying out here? With my baby. Okay. <laughs> um, as long as she stays out here, I'm going to stay out here. So. But hopefully, maybe we can come across something. I've been trying. I've seen a bunch of other boats still, like, trying. And I haven't seen nobody really be pulling in anything yet. So, I don't know if they're necessarily in this way. Or if you go up further that way, there's, like, the river goes up all the way up. It, like, 
that goes all the way up into the creeks and everything else that flows down into Deer Point Lake. There's all these different creeks that flow into it. Um, but then all the way back on that way, you probably can't, I don't know how well you can see, but the dam way over there, that's where it overflows into the bay area is where the dam's at. So this little flat area up in here, they can get kind of deep sometimes, uh, but it's not really too deep in this area. And usually this is a pretty good area for trying to like catch bass and stuff because it's like anywhere between five foot, four foot, six foot, um, and different depths and stuff. And then you get all these little grass spots and stuff all around these big flats right here. Um, so usually that kind of works around here and you can kind of fish, but since it's like early spring, um, I have, I've only seen one bed so far being able to look down on the water. So I don't know exactly where they are quite yet. So this will be the second time I've come out so far within the last month here. And it's been a little difficult to kind of pinpoint where they are. We're going to keep looking around and hopefully we'll come across something. So this area over here looks pretty nice. It has a bunch of, you know, trees and stumps. Yeah, I see, girl. But it has a bunch of trees and stumps and all that other stuff around here. It uh, looks like like the perfect place where a bass would be hiding or setting up or whatever. But I even tried changing the color of my bait. Just went with with this little super fluke. I went had a you know a clearish blackish color um, super fluke. Probably gonna change it to a blue just to kind of see. And then I I fished a worm for a little while today. Um, like two different colors on a worm and then just I don't know maybe I don't feel like they're out here more in these flats I feel like if, if they're gonna be anywhere they're probably more off I mean it's early spring so thinking about it spawning season where are they hiding at like so it's been a little rough right now and I'm not really seeing any really any top water action or anything like that and it could just be the day too like i don't know there's a million factors that come into play but they just might not be in this area so it looks like a perfect spot where bass would be hiding all out but i'm gonna fish it up this way a little more and then um see if i can find something but we're getting close to wrapping this thing up this might turn into another little bus day for me two in a row wow it's been a minute since i had two in a row bus days like this uh, yeah, you got the little turtle on your arm. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. All right, so we're getting out of this area. There's a lot of stumps in this area right here. Uh, I think we're probably about done fishing for today. It's going on two o'clock. That'll give us time to get back to the house and then get things ready for like dinner and that kind of stuff like that. Plus, she wants to get a little tank for her turtle, don't you, Aaliyah? So we're going to try to make our way out of here. There's a bunch of nice houses out this way too. They're just sitting right here on this lake too. So it's kind of cool. Maybe I'll flip the camera. But those are all like these nice houses all through here on the edge. And they're building a new one over there. But it's kind of a nice lake. But just have to get out of this little area the water drops off right here like it just dropped off it's 13 feet deep right through here so i think i should be good but we're gonna cruise out of here we're probably gonna run back over to the boat ramp we're gonna load up the boat uh, and yeah we'll just uh head back to the house so stay tuned for that Ooh. Ooh, turn this down ah end it well that's because you ain't doing the work uh, yeah. Show the camera your turtle. What? Show the camera your turtle. The baby turtle. Yep. Uh, it's kind of the main reason why I wasn't able to get her to do anything else. I mean, it's. I'm glad she was able to at least find something to entertain herself today because I know after how hard it was to catch a fish out there, after a little while, she would have got to the point where she would have got super bored so this worked out pretty good and i know she had fun right yeah so much fun and then we all get to have a little fun we're gonna roll back to the house now 
just go ahead and get something to snack on, right? Mm. We'll probably go to this, you know, pet supermarket or something like that. Let's see if we can get a little tank and stuff for her little turtle. So they got like a bunch of little pet stores around here that you can kind of like buy those little baby little slider turtles over here. They got them like a couple different <laughs> spots, but yeah. Stop being so squirmy. But she'll like it. She had a turtle before, didn't you? Yeah, but yeah. not in the house. Yeah. Well, we can put this one on the tank. It'll be good. So if y'all stick around with that, maybe we'll show y'all a little bit of pet supermarket over here, that kind of stuff, and then show y'all a little bit of tank. And I don't know, just depending on how long this video kind of goes, I might wrap it up here soon, um, or just keep keep recording a couple things we got we got going on for the rest of the day. So stick around. So we made it back to the house, got the boat right here, kind of all undone right now. So I'm opening up all the hatches and stuff like that because there's still like some moisture inside some of the hatches. You can kind of see it like over here. Let me flip the camera around and show you a little. So you can kind of see right down up in here, there's, they, they get some water and stuff like that up in here. And then that inner compartment area. And that's just because that's because the boat's just been sitting and I haven't used it in a couple days and that kind of stuff. So it's easy, it's just nice to go ahead and, and pop it open like that. That way you ain't gonna worry about all that moisture. And my little boy over here saying that his sister runs faster than him. So he's been trying to run on this treadmill right here. <laughs> so he thinks he can get faster than her. Hey, are you running faster, Skylar? Yeah. You're up to what? 45. 4.5? Dang, that's fast, boy. But, yeah, we're gonna go to the store here in a minute. I also went ahead and like pulled out all my tackle real quick. Ow, Leah, you got my foot. Pulled out all my tackle, and you can see like water all along here on the inside of my little tackle boxes and stuff like that. So I just spread them all out. I'm gonna spread out on my golf cart right now just to kind of let them air out a little bit and dry up. That way it ain't getting all moldy or nasty, so. But we're about to run over to Super. Pet Supermarket. Pet Supermarket. Yeah, we're just going to let the, the boat air out for about an hour, and then we're going to head over there. So, I'll yeah. stick around for that. This is uh, Leah's little fish tank we just picked up from yep. Pet Supermarket. Like a little turtle tank. Well, we didn't pick it up from Pet Supermarket. We... We picked Pet them. Smart. Well, we didn't pick. But well, kind of we didn't pick up the turtle. We got the turtle toy. from. Um, yeah, I know. Kind of they know. They know. Toy. And then we got the little light right here for it, just a kind of little heat lamp. We built up a little mound here so it can crawl Pet up. Toy. Yep, that's the little guy right there. Daddy, can I show them how how I hold them? Uh, in a little bit. Maybe another time. You showed them on the boat. I know. I'm just showing them the video of the turtle, what it looks like, and how small it is. Get closer so they can see how small it is. It even moved yeah. the rock. This should work for a while, though. This tank should be plenty big enough for it for a while. So, yep. That's uh, Aaliyah's little turtle. What's the name? Lily. And if it's a boy, Oregon. Okay. All right, hey, guys. So, this is kind of... I'm going to wrap the video up with this right here. We... Did uh, I showed y'all Aaliyah's little fish tank that we kind of got her for the evening. It's already kind of getting later in the evening. It's going on, what is it, 6 o'clock now? Dang. Um, so this is what my wife decided to make for dinner tonight, which is kind of cool. Just some homemade lasagna. So for me, I like homemade lasagna. I think it's kind of better than any kind of like store lasagna or anything like that. So... But we're going to dig into that. If you guys would just like and follow the video, it's pretty cool that um, I have been getting some new people and like been subscribing to the channel and stuff like that. Tomorrow is going to be, uh, a, you know, a little bit different day for me or whatever. Um, tomorrow I'll probably be getting up in the morning and then doing some, like doing a quick little workout and then doing some um, trading and stuff like that in the morning. So we're going to see what I'm doing. And I just want to show you guys. A little fish tank before I'm done for the evening. I got a bunch of mollies in here. 
from this molly right here, this one main molly. She's had literally two batches of mollies in here. So they're swarming through the tank. You can kind of see them like all right there and stuff, all those itty bitty ones right over there and stuff. So, but yeah, I appreciate you guys watching the video. If you would just like and subscribe and you know, shoot me a thumbs up. Uh, it would help my channel kind of grow and that's what I'm trying to do. So um, I appreciate everybody's time. So until next time, see ya.